All right, time for a Vi game. This game, I'm going to be playing Vi, the exact build that the rank 1 Korean Vi player has, which incidentally probably means he's the rank the best Vi in the world. He has a currently as of recording 800 LP in Challenger there. So, yeah. Everything he does, I do. So, all right. So, if you're starting on the blue side of the map, you want to start W. You want to start W regardless, right? But starting blue side, you want to start W into E. And if he starts red side, he goes W into Q. And then goes for the red, uh, red, blue, gromp. And then uses his Q for mobility a little bit to be faster, I suppose. I don't necessarily see why it's faster, but it's what he does. So he'll do red, blue, gromp into wolves. And then he moves on to the uh, raptor scuttle. And if he does this side, he does E second into the Gromp and essentially five camps uh, into a Scuttle. So that is what we'll be doing as well. Curve a little bit this way, hit this. The exact path thing I'm doing right now is what he does in his, uh, in his gameplays as well. Alright, this back, let the jungle item tick on the small ones as much as possible there we go take q i see i'm against an evelyn so i'm not gonna be too afraid about getting invaded or anything of the sort just gonna make sure that i keep my clear area through the five camp Now, I don't have any top plan priority. I could technically gank that with the HP he has, so I th think I just will do that. This looks fine. Looks like he's backing, though. He's backing. I'm just gonna walk this way for top scuttle. Because that means, he, like, as soon as he backs, like, he loses some priority there. He's gonna have to TP back. Eve's gonna be here. I'm just gonna hit this with Q and kite it down this way. The Eve is about topside right there, so this means that I can just kite this down, kite this this way, and then move towards here. Through mid. Use my Q consistently across the map to start dashing stuff. That's what he does as well. Like, he literally spams that. So I'll hit it, let it walk down a little bit. Do to get rid of the shield. And we get double scuttle this way, it's fine. Smite, I'll go bot lane, look for something here. Maybe, potentially. I may be able to dive this, it's a little bit risky though. I'm just probably gonna back. Yeah, I'll just, bait I'll just take the base here. It's okay. It's a little bit too greedy to stick around there. Let's move out of base. Keep spamming Q here to uh, get the mobility. I think Zoe just dies again, right? Oh! Oh! He got him. Nice. Evelyn top. Actually, didn't think she'd stick around top lane that long. The reason I based there instead of doing her Krugs is because I thought she was just going to be back into bot lane very, very soon. So it wouldn't make any sense for me to uh, just stick around there and get basically killed by her back and her bolt collapse on top of the rocks if I was doing them. So for that reason I based, but she actually stuck around top lane for the entire time, so I'm kind of surprised by that. I should have just done the, um, the her Krugs, her leveled up Krugs in that situation then, if I knew. Alright, I mean at this point I have so much bolt lane priority that I could just go for a dragon. I don't think the Evelyn's gonna really check. I think she's gonna be worried about her camps a little bit more. So I'm just gonna hop on in here. Start this dragon up. Vi is really good at doing dragons, so I'm just gonna do this. I already hit the vision trinket on it, but I'm still gonna use my ward here. I don't think this is gonna be contested at all. Like, there's no reason for the Vi to check here, to be honest. Or for the Evelyn, sorry, to check here, to be honest. Because she has to do her camps at this point. She's probably doing raptors right now or something. She isn't six yet, so I'll see her coming if she does come. 
and I just got the dragon here. Take an instant base here. And then, yeah, we're we'll be building Divine Sunder. Not worried about HP, so I'm just gonna get out of base and get towards this topside camp. I'm gonna clear down here towards my blue, my wolves and some and stuff will be respawning. I could look for the top scuttle as well, potentially. I have top lane priority. Oh, she took this. Interesting. Okay, that is a Evelyn Elastar bot lane combo. Shen ult saves, looks like. I'll smite this. I'm not gonna get contested on this, so I can just smite it like kind of early. Get this killed towards the mid lane. Alright. Got him with the flash. What I did there was I just made sure to clear the scuttle towards the mid lane whilst I'm running, essentially. To get the efficiency there. So I can clear a scuttle whilst I'm walking towards the mid lane fight still. It's never gonna get there in time otherwise, so... Oh my god, that's an awkward positioning. Oh, that cannon. Pain. Pain, 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 pain. Okay. I move towards blue here. I pushed in a mid wave because I kind of have to there. If I don't push in the wave fast, it's going to be too slow. Might freeze outside the turret for the Aurelia, which would be bad. Smite this in. Charge the Q. Oh, don't reset. Thank you. I have ult ready, so I definitely need to look towards using that soon. Ideally, like maybe mid here would be pretty nice. Bad. Give some vision. I could definitely look for a mid lane ult. Topside cams will be up here. I can just ult mid. I'm just gonna... She flashed. Okay, well, I guess it's a flash trade for my ultimate, essentially, so it's okay. Couldn't really win that one. Zoe's bubble was on cooldown, so it's fine. Getting in range there was going to be rather difficult with that positioning, so yeah, kind of had to ult early. I want to catch up with that Aurelia. Gonna do red, and then the top gank might be possible. I do have to remember that I do not have ult, and Evelyn does currently have, like, level 6, so uh, she can be anywhere on the map right now. I have a dragon coming up in another 2 minutes. Full plane is looking a little sketchy at the moment. I do have a quite a bit of gold, so this could be very risky. That's a good hit. She's dead. That's a very, very clutch taunt hit there from the Shen. Evelyn didn't see me clearly. Oh, by the way, the elo of this game specifically is like high plat, low diamonds. Alright. What he does is he maxes W second as well. So that's what I'll be doing as well. I'm gonna take it back right now because this is gonna be a minute on the dragon. I get the CDR boots in Fate, Sheen, Control Ward, and move out of base again. You go CDR boots every game uh, to have the cooldown, extra cooldown on his Q to essentially dash across the map faster because he's basically spamming Q here. Like every type of mobility situation he has, every opportunity he has, un unless he's like wants to use it for damage on these camps here, for example. When he's getting close to a camp, he won't use it. But otherwise, he just every time Q, Q, Q across the map. I'm not going to do it right now because, I mean, the scuttle, I just want to hit that shield off, of course. So, 28 seconds on dragon. Dragon control is something you have to keep up on, Vi. Vi is really good at doing it and you should be doing it. Right, my brand's going deep, so we're going to go deep with him. I'm just gonna ult the CC there. 
You, I want to wait with my ult there until I get knocked back, essentially. The best situation. I'm going to dive this guy. That's my bad. I missed. She stepped me pretty well, but I just missed. All right, Brand, come on. Let's do a dragon. I do not have smite, but it shouldn't matter. You see the Ash there solo walking on the turret, so I definitely go for that. There's still a ward here, so the Evelyn's probably not going to show up. She's still playing you. Mm, actually, 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 don't do this. No, 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 we're not doing this anymore. I'm leaving. It's already risky because my ult's on cooldown there, and if Joey isn't there, so the Aurelia, essentially, we'd be 2v1ing there. And Aurelia has a pretty scary champion, so, you know... Don't necessarily want to go for that one, for that 2v2 there. I got some camps to clear now. My Crux could potentially be down, taken by the Vi, or not Vi, Evelyn. We'll see. Farm's looking pretty good. No flesh. Okay, then. I'll move. And I got him. I just need my channel to land this taunt now. Alright, very good. Land the Q, like I Q flash towards him there to close a lot of distance into an instant ult so he can't escape anymore. Do not know where Evelyn, Evelyn's bot lane. Okay, I can get some free top lane plates. I'm just gonna hit, hit turret here because it's nearly 14 minutes. If I go for like a Herald now, it's better to, for me to just hit turret and get a little bit of plate gold. I do have to keep Jack's TP in mind actually. I don't have mana for this. If he TPs on me here, I'm dead. I'm taking a risk here. Hoping his TP would be down. It's not. Okay. So I'm just gonna have to run down here. I need his help because I don't have mana. This is good. That is very good. Well played, Shen. Very good. That was super well done from Shen. Teleporting back to the plane essentially saved me there. I knew I was going to take a risk there the second I stayed because I didn't have mana to fight Jax or escape with Qs. So it was going to be a risk regardless. Oh, I need to respect Evelyn here. It's too big of a risk right now because of my positioning with my team at least. Uh, Evelyn's going to be here. He's not. He's doing wolves. I definitely need to look towards basing soon. I'm not doing Rift Herald here. The simple reason I'm not doing Rift Herald is because of way too much gold and I cannot take a risk of a fight right now. I'm also pretty sure that my Shen has a lot of gold as well. So there would be absolutely no reason for me to risk it at the moment. Can I take that back? Thank you. So yeah, we go Divine Sunder, then we get Black Cleaver next item. After that, we're essentially building either Thornmail or Wit's End. After that, you will just you buy, you will build both. By the way, like you're gonna build Thornmail, you're gonna build Wit's End, and then it just depends on whichever one you need. If they absolutely have no like physical damage, then Thornmail is useless, and if they have absolutely no magic damage, then of course the um, Wit's End's useless, and then you just replace Wit's End with Death's Dance, and yeah, finish the build off with a Guardian Angel, and you're good. That is the idea. I'm gonna ult him here. Okay. Well, that's a dash through me, so my Q missed, and then she flashed over the wall, so it is okay. I have some time to do the Rift Herald right now. I have a minute on Dragon, which is really what I want to look for next. But as you can see, my Q cooldown is now 4 seconds. It's really, really low. It's gonna make like mobility across the map really easy. The 
take this up. Got a dragon in 30 seconds. Do you hit anything? I okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Zoe missed every single ability, and Shen didn't ult. I see. That's unfortunate. Yeah, well, I mean, what can I do? I hit the initial Q. I hit everything that I could hit potentially there, and she just out damaged it. So yeah, I just die. <laughs> I'm 99% sure though that Zoe literally missed everything, but that could be me. They are taking a risk with Dragon, to be honest. Doing it without the jungler? It worked out. I mean, my death there is kind of whatever. I can't do help it much. Making sure here again, uh, use your Q spam across the map for mobility. Getting you around faster. If you run through your jungle, you have very high mana region. So you don't necessarily have to worry about like running out of mana this way. go mid here I'm gonna turn towards my team here I could have chased the Evelyn there but I'd rather like get the safety of n not getting trading any kills out of my team Hey, you could debate if I should go for the Eve there, but I think this is a little bit more of a safer play because now more of my teammates are guaranteed to be alive if I turn around, potentially. In this case, maybe not, but yeah, it's generally what I'd prefer doing. Um, if I'm... Because after this, I can push turret and stuff. I just need this Rift Herald to hit the turret and I'm happy. Could in theory go for that move. Alright, got him with the flash Q cheese. I'm gonna ult this guy so he's popping from dashing. There we go. I have no mana anymore, so I cannot fight anymore. It's okay. In the jungle, I can regen some mana so I could potentially turn if I have to, but I'd rather not. I'd rather have my Zoe back away here. And right now I'm just gonna look for Eve's camps, clean up what I can, take what I can. Team is overextending. There's no reason to stick around here, because there's simply just nothing to get. I, I mean, if you die, you die. I'll leave the plant up for him. If he gets out, he gets out. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I'm not gonna help him. They overextended simply. Okay, well, now Chen is dead as well, I guess. I don't know. They already got mid inhibitor, so there's absolutely no reason to stick around there. It's completely useless. He's dead as well now. I'll have to go this way. If I walk this way, I might have a drop, might have some issues walking into like an Evelyn or something. And get collapsed on by their team. I have a lot of gold here. Dragon, two minutes. Don't care about Scuttle. I have Black Cleaver, so I'm going to definitely purchase that. And then I may as well purchase my healing reduction part. Or is it... This thing. It's 800 gold. Buy two control wards with this. Against that team, like, they have a, quite a decent amount of magic damage still. Like, Evelyn, Jax does some magic damage, so Wits End's going to be good here. Um, but yeah, I can basically just finish four mil, Wits End, and then Guardian Angel to finish the build. And that's literally what he builds every game. It looks pretty consistent, to be honest. It feels decent. Like, this the build feels a lot better than I thought it would. He is just going in. Brand should be helping Baron, though, for sure. Because we need his Brand damage. If we're gonna do it this way, we should have Brand help us. Because his Brand passive does a serious amount of Baron damage. Yeah, that Brand passive basically outsmited me. I'm going top lane. I'm gonna kill this Jax right now. He just uses dodge, actually. This is good for me. Look at my damage. It's actually so high. What the hell? Okay. Rank 1 build working out. That that looked like it hurt. 
That looked like it really hurt. Nice suit. Good stuff. Okay. Q around the map here. Dragon's gonna spawn in 20 seconds. Just gonna keep Q charging. Q is a 3-4 second cooldown as you can see. So this is just why you want to use that Q for that mobility. And 14 seconds on Dragon. Okay, I'm just going to check everything she has to ensure that I can get as much from her as possible. And then when the dragon spawns, we're just going to use this. I think I should be fast enough before the Eve can even get here. Maybe she's all... No, she's, she's in base. We're fine. I can sure to use Q and E here to proc uh, passive hits to get it down faster. There we go. I suppose I do not get Scuttle. I'm feeling pretty confident here to just stick on the Bramble Vest and just go for a Wit's End next. So I feel like the source of damage I'm going to be taking the most is probably magic damage in this game right now. So I think just going for Wit's End here is solid. So we'll build both of these and we'll move out. The little bit of armor you get from this is pretty nice. You don't... Like, I'm pretty strong as is at the moment, so I don't need to worry too much. My team keeps inting. Like, why are they pushing without me? Like, it's... Cr okay. Keep queuing. I'm now gonna have to wait, essentially, for my team to respawn. They have to be careful for Evelyn. I don't know why my Draven and my Zoe push up this far when they clearly see that I'm just like doing dragon and going towards base and stuff like that. A little bit strange. Level 15, 200 CS. Keeping my tempo high with the Qs across the map. Looking good. Um, I do have to keep in mind right now that I'd have to be super careful for the Evelyn. Because she could full charm cheese me to death, essentially. I don't know if he can run in time, to be honest. I'm just gonna ult the Aurelia here. There we go. Yeah, as long as my team is just waiting for me, we're good. Keep Q spamming here. It's a three second cooldown. Catch up to these people. Stand behind these so the Ash cannot hit his stuff on me. Okay, he's trying to turn. All the flashes of the world. Every single one of them. Alright then. Eve just flashed in for that? Really? Why did I get to... Oh, we have no minions. Never mind. That's why I got to Aggro. I really don't want to stay. On this HP with this much mana, I'm going to lose the fight so hard. Quickly cheese this... Uh, get the red here. I just hope they don't overextend. I can potentially wait here. Hmm. Alright, if he maybe kited that towards me, I could have killed, but she probably wouldn't have chased that far anyway. I'm gonna back right now for Wit's End. My Draven shouldn't overextend here. Yep, Evelyn killed. That's good. They're just disrespecting Evelyn really hard. <laughs> like, extremely hard. There is absolutely no reason to stick around there, because we essentially get nothing. There's no objective that we can realistically take after the turret. If we take the inhibitor, I mean, sure, we get an inhibitor, but the inhibitor doesn't really give you much. So, yeah. Kinda shitty. Oh, no. I see this going wrong. Q charge. Three second cooldown. It's a good amount of damage. Can I get the ult on him? I can. Beautiful. Got some damage right there. Knock her into the floor. 
I mean, I'm strong. I just would have liked to see my team not in this much. That would have been very wonderful. That's just a dead Evelyn. This is a good Chen TP. That's what I was hoping for he'd do. Look at my damage. I'm destroying these people. That missed? All right, well, I'm just going to end the game. It is. It doesn't matter. This is the channel that I was hoping for. Like, he pinged it, so I was just assuming he's going to use it there. Good channel. He also used it on me, which is a good choice there. Because if he uses it on the other guy and he dies, he's not going to be able to get here in time, and I'm just going to die. He flashed. I just hit the turret. Or the nexus, sorry. That's all I'm doing. And yeah, to finish this build would be Thornmill into GA and that's it. That's what the rank by Korea does, plays like this. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below. It helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.